In this Photo P tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make what I call monochrome fine art prints. I really like this easy technique to make a good looking fine art print that involves black and white and also some color. So I'm going to go here to New Project and I'm going to make my size a disc plate. And I'm actually going to make this thing landscape. So for my width, I'm going to make it 4060 pixels. My height, I'm going to make it 2900 pixels, 300 DPI. Background is transparent and I'll click Create. That's going to give me a nice landscape blank template that I can use. I'm now going to go to File and I'm going to go to Open and Place and that's going to put my image in here. So here's my stock image. It's nice and crystal clear and it's got lots of cool colors on it. And I want to make these colors look unique in a fine art print. So what I'm going to do is over on the right hand side, I'm going to double click my layers panel here and I'm going to type in the word color. This is going to be my color layer. Now I'm going to right click on the layers panel and I'm going to duplicate my layer. So now I've got a second layer and I'm going to double click on the name of that second layer and I'm going to type in black and white. Okay, so now I want to make this top layer black and white. So I want to make sure my layer is selected. And you can see it's selected because the little transform controls will come up. If these are not popping up, make sure this little check mark right there is check marked on. Because now you can see there's transform controls around the outside of the image. I'm now going to go to Image, Adjustments, and Black and White. And it's going to change this image now into a black and white image. You'll see a slider here. And if I click OK, now this image is black and white. So now what I want to do is remove some of the black and white to show the color that's underneath it. I can basically toggle this layer on and off. So I'm just going to grab my eraser tool. So over on the left hand side there's an eraser tool. I'll click on it and I can see it's a little tiny eraser tool. I'm going to make this bigger. I'm going to make the size of it quite a bit bigger. I'm going to zoom in on my image here. So I'm going to go to zoom and zoom in. Zoom, zoom in. So you'll see I want to highlight these lights. So I've got my brush is a pretty good size. I'm going to make it a tiny bit bigger and I'm going to make the hardness go down to zero. That's going to make it somewhat fuzzy. So now I'm simply going to delete by clicking on the layer here, the black and white layer. I'm going to simply delete some of the black and white. Now it's going to ask me to rasterize the layer first. I'll say yes. And now I will simply click where I want the black and white layer to disappear. So what I'm doing is I'm removing pieces of the black and white layer and it's in return creating the colored layer underneath is just making it visible and it's creating an effect where I've got a black and white image with selective color showing up. All right, now there's a second thing that you can do here to make a glow effect and what you can do is make the brush a bit bigger. So I'm going to go to brush, make it quite a bit bigger. You'll see there it's quite large now. I'm going to make it like 230 right about there. So you'll see the brush now is quite a bit bigger. And I'm going to change the opacity now down to 25. And that's going to remove a tiny bit of the black and white. And you can see now there's a glow that's happening around the lights. I'm effectively creating a bit of a deletion around it. I'm just going to run this right along so you can see it's kind of coloring. I'm just going to click Control Z to undo that. And that gives you a nice glow effect around the lights. So I think this is a really nice technique because you can pick certain things. Like for example, this street light right here. I'll make it somewhat glow. Click it a couple times to increase it. And if you click it a whole bunch, you'll see now it's glowing in an otherwise black and white setting. You could do that with the lights over here as well and over here. And I think that's a really nice effect because it's a black and white photo, but there's certain pieces of it that are colorized. This makes a really nice fine art print if you were to colorize certain lights or certain colors or even just one tree, for example, in an otherwise black and white photo. It can make things look really stark. Now when you're done with this image to save it's pretty straightforward. You're going to go to File, Export As and then you've got all these options. You can do a PNG file, a JPEG, a PDF. There's all sorts of options here in PhotoP. I love using PhotoP. It's completely free. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your graphic design skills using PhotoP.